Palachinkin are Austrian crepes. They're so easy to make and delicious. With just a few simple ingredients, you can make these too. For this recipe, I did use two eggs, but I can offer you an egg-free recipe if eggs are an allergen for you. To that, I added a cup of flour. You can use your own safe gluten-free flour, or again, whatever flour is safe for you and your particular allergies. Then I added a cup of milk. You could use rice milk, coconut milk, almond milk, regular dairy milk, whatever safe version of milk you use in your cooking. And if you're not sure, please don't hesitate to reach out to me. I can help you make this recipe safe for you. To that, I add an eighth of a teaspoon of salt, just a pinch of salt, and you've got your really lovely thin batter. What's great about palachinkin is they're a little bit easier to work with than regular French crepes and thin and lovely compared to a pancake. The trick is to use a non-stick skillet. So you're going to want to have that ready to go. You're going to quickly ladle out your batter and swirl the pan if you're using a frying pan or use the ladle as I did to spread it out into a nice round shape as quickly as possible. And then you're going to flip your crepe, cook it nice to a golden brown on both sides. And once you're done, you're ready for fillings. You can fill your crepes with savory fillings, such as mushrooms, onions, ham, cheese, whatever you would put in an omelet, or you can do the sweet version with apricot jam, which is the classical traditional method, or any flavor of jam that you like. Roll them up, sprinkle them with some confectioner's sugar, and you have delicious palachinkin. My sister-in-law also makes them with honey and lemon juice and sugar. It's delicious.